Alright guys, Rola here and welcome back to another quick easy video tutorial sort of thing. Now this time I'm basically just going to be going over how many beats the um, drill artists want to rap on. So um, you can make drill beats all you want. You make the sickest drill beats in the world with the most amazing, technical, wild patterns. And then an artist hears it and they go, that's way too much for me, I don't want to bother with this. So we're going to be going over today how to make minimal... Um, easy to listen to, easy to rap over, easy to flow over um, beats for, yeah, for basically artists so you'll get more sales as well. Um, so the first thing we are going to do is basically make a quick beat here again. Um, we have got melodies from a sample kit, it's not really UK drill but it's just a loop kit um, I'll let you listen to that now. Okay, so that's what we're going to be using again. I know it's not UK drill, but I couldn't find anything else. So, I mean, I could just make a melody, but um, we'll just use that for now. Um, so we'll just add in some hats. Well, no, we won't. We'll just basically add in some kicks. So. Okay, so the first thing we'll notice, now these are um, from mine, but again, they're not doing too much. They're playing when they need to play. So kicks, for example, play when they need to play. Don't be playing them like... Like, stuff like that. Like, don't play them when they don't need to be. A kick punches and it plays and it signals a part of the beat. You don't need to be overdoing kicks. And we could take out half of this and it would still sound fine. 808s, again, it's the same thing. Um, but, I, like, with 808s, for example, you're wanting to have them playing, like, obviously to enhance the beat, not going too mental. mental. And again, they could be played with airways. So if we take the kick out, for example. And we just do this from scratch now. Um, so if we go boom. Like, it's things like that work, just very simple, very easy. But again, we want to keep the beat as well, so. Something very simple like that can work. Now, an artist will hear that and think, okay, that's easy, that's easy to follow, that's not too bad. Um, and we can repeat this over here. Now, if we want, let's say, a wee bit of a twist at the end, because that's basically... If you give an artist, you know, something at the end, so like roughly here, we can play about with this last part. We can have the first one, two, three bars perfectly normal, perfectly fine, perfectly easy to rap over. And then at the end, we can add a bit of flair. Um, now this flair will give the artist some create creativity as well. Um, and it will also give you some um, room to have fun and not just be like too constrained. So we could add like a slide here or something again. See, at the end there, that's fine. There's no problem with that. An artist will hear that and think, yeah, that's cool, that's fine. No problem to, um, no problem to rap over that. But if they hear, like, woo, woo, like, beats going everywhere, I mean, not to call it ghosty, but, like, his beats, a lot of artists can get kind of, um, can struggle sometimes with, you know, finding their place when there's just a million slide notes. Um, credits to ghosty, though, he mixes his eight ways very well, and he has them kind of subtly placed there to go with the beat, so... Um, make sure you're doing that as well if you're doing you know, a lot of slide notes make sure they are subtle at least and they're not too overbearing like you're not having you know notes up in five octaves above them wee woo like up down up down up down like just be simple be easy with it um, and we will add in as well just to kind of show you guys um, something else here we will go into the my congregate we will grab the scales we'll grab the um, harmonic minor and we'll basically show you we can even with this beat have having it a simple um, 808 we can go up we can go we can change the notes here because the notes are being played that's fine 
Um, but again, be very careful and sparing when you're doing stuff like this because we don't want them to be up in the higher octaves and then a clash with artists. And again, very subtle um, slides as well. I would suggest, this is my personal suggestion, um, I would suggest putting them only in the last um, four, the last bar. Just, just because it kind of, it's a bit of class to it, it's a bit of style, it's a bit of minimalist, and yeah, artists are going to enjoy that. Now, with the snare, for example, it's the same thing. It's the same idea. You're wanting to have the snare played simple um, and to add to the beat instead of taking away. So if we go in and just add in some. Now again, we want to be on sell here. I mean, something very simple like that works. Maybe even at the start, like a stutter step. Again, make sure the velocity is nice. So again, if, um, that's it there. So again, just play about with it, but don't overcomplicate it. See if you're like, did it, did it, did it, did it, like all this crazy stuff. Again, artists are going to be like, eh, I can't really rap on that. It's a bit too wonky. Or just something simple like that. And again, with the snare, I say this every time. You don't need to overcomplicate the snare. Just have it on. And again, you can have in this in the last section, like I said, it's very easy. And very simple just to add a wee roll, a little roll there, um, just to spice up a bit. I feel that needs to be a bit quicker. So let's go and force that to this here. Not four step, two step, sorry. Um, but yeah, you can already see like how how much easier this would be to flow in if you're an artist. And yeah, that's basically um how we would do it. So if we added that to the melody, um, it would sound something like this. Again, I've not mixed or mastered this. So. The, that's messed up so we will go and just add in another loop from um, from here uh, but I know, I'm not going to mess about this for too long but you guys see what I mean Yeah, you get my point. Um, if you leave pockets, leave room for the beat to breathe, leave room for the artist to have um, a chance to rap over, a chance to have his sections, that's going to improve your beat so much, give you so much room, and leave so much, um, yeah, room for the artist, and room for you to get more money, get more sales, get more um, popularity, everything. The list goes on and on, but yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Please take care, um, leave a like, subscribe, all the sounds in this um, 
in this in this tutorial were from my kit so yeah you can get them in the description if you like the sound of them but regardless guys thank you very much for watching take care much love and i will see you in the next one i do peace